Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a little bit of a front end refresh on the TJ. We've got to take the current motorbuilt bumper off. We're gonna strip the bed liner off of it and just paint it a smooth black. We've also got some changes coming up uh, to the winch. We've got some new stuff from Factor 55 we're gonna throw on. Just kind of a front end refresh. Uh, middle of riding season, everything's going well. I've always kind of been bothered that I painted this with bed liner. It just doesn't look the way I wanted it to. So today we're going to get all that fixed up. Like I said, this is a Rust-Oleum bed liner. And while I think it's a fairly durable coating, um, if you scrape anything real sharp with this, it just peels right off. Uh, it, it seemed to go on pretty smooth and overall it's not the worst thing in the world but in sunlight it just doesn't look very good it comes off more of a grayish color and I've just never been happy with the way it looks with the worn on here so we're going to be taking it off spraying it smooth black to match the uh, fenders and all the armor that we've done recently and then let's go inside to see what we've got from Factor 55 to really tie all this together. So here's our new goodies from Factor 55. To start off, we are going to the Flat Link Expert from the old Pro Link. Um, looks is one thing. And then the second thing is at Hawk Pride, we actually caught the end of the Pro Link on a big boulder. And when we did, it curled the. Uh, fairly bracket up back towards the winch where it was contacting the rope and now that we've got this motor built stubby on the furthest point that sticks out is that pro link so going to this flat link ought to make this nice and flush up here and keep it real close to the fair lead where we will hopefully no longer catch it on things as we're wheeling and color wise we just went with black my favorite thought about doing red because it kind of matches the worn um, but i just couldn't get away from the black i think it looks the best at least on our uh, tan tj so second we got the factor 55 fair lead nothing wrong with the worn one this was just kind of a fun uh, aesthetics upgrade it's in the gray should look really good contrast a little bit now that our bumper is going to be black and then the final thing is we got the rope guard for the new flat link basically just hides the rope as it connects right here and protects it since the rope is now going to be turned out facing the front of the jeep so that's what we've got from factor 55 super quick shipping from them i appreciate that so let's get it all thrown on First thing we've got to do is pull the bumper off. Winch is going to come with it. Uh, so we do have to go in and disconnect the positive and negative leads from the battery, pull them out through, and then the entire winch will come off with the bumper. Um, I guess before that though, need to go ahead and get the pro link off, uh, get the fair lead off, things like that. So that's what we're about to get started with. got a tiny little snap ring I know I've showed you how these pro links work before you basically got a pin that slides through locks the rope in and then the snap ring just goes in this side to retain that pin so since this is going on the spare parts shelf we will just put this pin back in so we don't lose it good to go so the bolts holding the fair lead on are an 18 mil. These should not be crazy tight.
There's the old fair lead, still in good shape. Got the wiring off the battery. Uh, got it threaded out from underneath all this stuff. These are T55s. I've already got them loose. Uh, just a little T55 Torx bolt. These are the factory ones. Try not to strip them. Got four of those on top. I am of course missing one. And then uh, also got two of them underneath so we'll get those off and the whole bumper should come off as a unit bumper is off which came with it flip it over Carefully. Don't want to damage anything. And here are your four bolts actually holding the winch to the bumper. So we're going to get these off. Alright, old bumper is off. Time to get the bed liner stripped off. Get it painted up looking good. Same with the fair lead. And start reassembly with the new factor 55 stuff and just like that we have a freshly painted smooth satin black moto built stubby looks a lot better let's start getting everything put back on it all right for my own sanity I did not try to film holding this uh, with one person and trying to get all these lined up on the bumper honestly this time it didn't go too bad the first time I thought I was just going to throw it all off a cliff and give up but uh, these four bolts are all that attaches the winch let me double check what size they are a 16 mil one two three four I know you saw us do this on Josh's but uh, mine's about the same so the new winch is attached to the freshly painted stubby Got everything kind of cleaned up. I'm gonna clean these connections while I'm in here and then we'll uh, get it back on the Jeep. I don't know about you guys, but to me that already looks a whole lot better. Really ties it into the uh, freshly powder coated high lines from Moto Built. Just has a more clean, professional look to it. I already got a tiny scrape right there that'll bother me from install. It just happened to land on a piece of metal shaving down there but the good thing about doing it yourself is you can just touch it up at home so got it back on the jeep obviously i am carefully re-threading all of our t55 bolts back in there's a nut cert in the frame that actually holds those on uh, you don't have to hold anything on the back side problem is they tend to get weak over time and break off that is why I'm missing a bolt on the driver's side. So just be careful threading those in. Don't over torque them. I think the torque spec on this is only 60 or 70 foot pounds. So don't go crazy with it. The bumper will stay on. That's what we're up to getting those back in. And then uh, we will break open the new Factor 55 stuff and get it looking really good. bolts are tightened other than that one obviously got the uh, wires for the winch fed back up through the grill routed like we had them ready to reconnect so first thing we're gonna do now is put our new fair lead on from factor 55 nice new shiny fair lead and reuse our same bolts 
pretty simple here. Just come from the front side to the back side with your fair lead bolt. Next order of business we've got is actually installing this rope guard on the shackle here. So there's some instructions that come with this, but basically you're going to pull these rubber inserts off of this. This just goes on here and then it comes with four. It's actually got five rivets in there. I guess they give you a spare, but uh, four little rivets that you have to drive down in here and holds that on. So we're going to do that. And we'll be about done with this. I'm just gonna very gently take a flathead, pull these rubber inserts up out of the flat link, just like so. There's one, there's two. I'm not sure if they're side specific, but we're gonna kind of keep them organized here. They say to take these back ones out too. I'm not sure why. I guess we can. You're only gonna need access to one side of this, but uh, I'm just gonna follow the instructions. So, and all four are out. That's the back side, this is the front side. Decide which side that you want to be facing out. In our case, it's gonna be this side. So lay that facing up, got your rope guard, go ahead and place it where you want it, fits good. And you're going to take your rivets, grab four of them, they're going to go in just like that, go ahead and get them, let's get two of them in position to start. You're going to get a hammer and some sort of punch that will fit that little groove right there. And just hammer these into place. I'm gonna see what we have that'll work good with that. So I've got a little craftsman tool here, like a screwdriver handle, but it's got a kind of a square uh, shape on the end of it, almost like it's just meant for a punch. So that's what we're gonna use. See if we can hold this steady and get it started. That one's started. Let's go to this side. There's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and drive this in. All right, so we've got the rope guard on. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I'm not super impressed with Factor 55's reputation, you figure it'd be a little better than this. These rivets did really not want to go in. I'm not sure if I should have lubed the hole first. I don't think that would make a difference, but I had to really bash these rivets in so hard that they broke off. And I had to actually grind the top smooth because they were just splitting as I was hitting them. So, but it's on. Um, now I just got to put these rubber pieces back on the back that we took off. Slide those in. Sounds like they're kind of going to snap in. So there's one. And 
and there's two. So there's your rubber pieces. Now we are ready to go put it on the Jeep. All right, what do y'all think? I think it looks a lot better myself. Like I said, really ties in with the fenders now. Nice and black looking bumper. A little bit of contrast here with the Haas Fairlead from Factor 55. A lot slimmer of a profile looking along like this. The recovery hooks almost stick out as far as the flat link, so shouldn't be uh, bending this Fairlead mount anymore. It's a really clean overall look if you ask me here. Paint job came out pretty good on the bumper. I believe this is it. This will work. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video today, getting the Moto Built repainted and installing some new goodies up front. Really just kind of a front end refresh for the Jeep. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you think of the new setup up here. And we'll see you in the next video. This has been Everyday Off-Road.